Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video, I will show you how you can manage your storage using System Storage Manager with LVM. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually System Storage Manager or SSM provides an easy way and easy to use command line interface in order to manage your storage. But this using various technologies like LVM or encrypted volumes, for example. So in this video, I will just use SSM in order to create an LVM or logical volume manager under CentOS. Okay. So first thing first, you have to install the package. So it's called actually system storage manager. Okay. So me, I have already done that. So no package will be installed because it's already installed. Okay. So once you have installed this package, you can actually use the SSM command. So I will show you here how to use this command in order to create a volume. Okay. So as you can see, the package is already installed. So we can just use this command directly here. Okay. So first thing first, let's see how many hard drives that we have so i will use here the command ssm list and i will just want to see the devices that i have so there for devices so as you can see here i have two hard drive one is called sda which has 1.82 terabytes okay and second one is called sdb which has almost almost uh, 900 31 gigabytes okay so i will create actually a volume under the second hard drive called sdp so the command to do that it's pretty simple ssm then create then we have to specify the size of my volume here so i will just use uh, for example let's say 400 gigabytes okay then you have to specify the name of your volume with the command or option minus n so i will just call it for example disk zero so you can name it whatever you want then you have to provide the file system that you will be using so here i'm under uh, santos so i will use the default one which is actually file system type is xfs okay then the pool name so i will just use uh, santos my pool because i have already a pool created by default by the system called santos okay then finally we have to provide the device name so in this case i will use the second hard drive which has the path of dev sdp then a month point so i will use here just a directory called data that will host actually this volume here so this is the simple command that you can use in order to create an lvm volume but before if you didn't want to use the ssm command you used to actually use the lvm commands which almost take five commands in order to do that but now with just a single command we can do all that okay so let's hit enter and see what's going on so as you can see here the volume group has been created successfully okay and now it's asking me if i want to wipe actually this uh, volume here disk zero so i will just answer yes because i want xfs file system and here we go we have created actually our volume so let's see this volume we use the ssm list and vol for volume to see our volumes here okay so now as you can see clearly in this table we have two volumes one is called centos centos and the one that we have created is called centos my pool which has almost or actually exactly 400 gigabytes that we have specified okay so and the file system is of course xfs 
okay and the mode point that we have specified it's called data the other one slash home and slash actually root was were created actually by the system before so we have successfully created our lvm volume and now we can resize it or delete it or add it to another volume as we want so as a, an exercise i will just try to recite this volume here okay so as you can see so let's first see also the pool that we have so actually we have two pools here as you can see CentOS CentOS which has almost 1.82 terabytes and we have another pool but we have just used 400 gigabytes of it and we have left 531 gigabytes are free so we can use the remaining space in order to increase actually this folder here if I want so the command to resize it's also pretty simple so SSM then resize and that's the beauty of this uh, system storage manager that we can resize or shrink our partitions or volume as we want so I will specify the volume here or the size of my volume so I will I can add for example let's say 200 gigabytes to our volume okay and of course you have to specify the volume name so the volume name as you can see in this table is actually Dave CentOS and my pool then disk zero okay so now we can resize our volume so pay attention before it was 400 gigabytes the volume size and now let's see what's going on okay so now we have created this volume let's execute the command once again to see just uh, the size of my volume here keep in mind it was 400 and now let's see okay so as you can see here now it's 600 gigabytes okay so we have increased our volume by 200 gigabytes okay but there is another notice that you must always pay attention to is the file system the file system size hasn't changed so here you can see 399 and if we go before it hasn't changed and that's normal we have actually expanded the volume but not the file system so if you want to expand also the file system you have to execute a specific command to that file system so keep that in mind it's very important you cannot now use this 200 uh, gigabyte that we have added unless you expand also the file system size so here I'm using XFS file system so if I want to expand it there is a special command for that it's called actually xfs grow fs okay and here we have to specify the volume name which is dev stand to us my pool and desk zero of course so now we have expanded our file system so here we have almost 400 it should be now almost 600 so I will use the command here to list the volume and here we go we have successfully expanded also the file system okay so it's a really interesting option and that's the beauty of, L F of LVM that we can resize our partition whenever it becomes actually full of data we can expand it and system rem rem reminds actually online you don't have to unmount the partition or the volume you can use th these commands live and online without affecting the system downtown okay and finally I will show you just some bunch of command that you can also use so of course you can delete the volumes or delete the pools as you want so here if I want for example to delete this uh, 
volume that we have created it's simple as executing the command ssm remove then the volume name which is dev centos my pool then disk zero okay so it's asking me should i mount the slash data folder so i will answer here yes and here i will answer also yes okay so now the volume has been successfully removed so we can verify that and as you can see the volume has disappeared from our table so that's normal we can also remove the pool if you want so before we have actually two pools and we can now remove our pool also which called CentOS my pool okay so as you can see we have now only one pool that was created by the system so that was just a brief introduction how you can use the SSM in order to manage your Linux partitions or volumes if, I, if you are using LVM. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.